previously on Preps. Sean Dockery and the Julian Jaguars suffer a heartbreaking triple overtime loss. Yeah! What's that? We're going down. It's seven. over. He's going down. It's seven. over. A season that started with such promise is over. Good game. Good game. Come on. A family torn apart. You walk out of here, you hold your head up because you represented Julian High School. The best I've seen. Family. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't nothing else we could go through. We, we already, we, we went through life at Julian. We been through life. That's life right there, basketball, man. That's life. I'm the king of the black top, cooping half court shots. I come correct, the stats are whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my hoop dreams. Real kids. I'm Eddie Curry, senior, born Wood High. Real dreams. I'm Kyle Kleckner, senior, Donald Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, junior, Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago hoops. Sean's had plenty of time to get over losing the triple overtime playoff game to Crane. He's got other kinds of ball to think about now, like playing some springtime AAU hoops. Everybody on the uh, on your best, like every player from the best high school play, yeah, playing on one team. Did I? So it's like yeah, an all star team versus a whole bunch of all star teams. Like you beat Chicago yeah. versus New York, Chicago versus Atlanta, like that. It's a lot of teams. Today, the first day of tryouts, and the best players from Chi Town were sure to be making appearances. This is the Illinois Fire Trial AAU team, traveling team. Um, we're getting kids from all over different high schools to play with our team. We are, I think our first game is, uh, we go to Houston, I think sometime in April. Second week of April, we got two weeks of hard training to go to. Trying to put the best to represent Chicago. Because the national tournament was in, uh, uh, in July, the big time Adidas basketball. That's the national, that's what we plan for, for that tournament there. Getting together three teams and practicing all in two weeks? That ain't a lot of time. Better get the tryouts. But first, the boys got to get the scoop on the guidelines for playing hoops at Fernwood Park. We got some more rules at on. You got to take all do-rags off, hats off, no gum, no liquid, no food, nothing. No for the gym. No gum. What's up? What's up, boy? I got new floor in this Thank you. Hey, man. That's not the gum business, man. Right. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I think it on one. they going to come on the court. You're chewing gum. That's cool. <laughs> Take it. Don't you Are you sure this ain't boot camp? AAU got the best of the best. If you could play AAU, you could play anywhere. AAU the best. You, you get seen more playing AAU ball than you do high school ball. Because all the best colleges come to see all the best players, and all the best players will be on one team. Coach Irvin usually has the best team all the time. You got that right. Mac Irvin's the godfather of b-ball in Chi-Town. Mac knows hoops on the highest level. He should. His son Byron played in the NBA. He's been watching high school ball for the whole year. You pretty much know uh, those that can play the kind of caliber players you want, you know. The athlete, you know, hey, the one who has a good mind, you don't have problems with, you know. Some, I want the best, but I don't want somebody to give me problems either. After the guys warm up a bit, Mac and Steve Dockery gather all the fellas up to lay down some of the ground rules for playing on the Illinois fire. When you're out here and we just letting you play, just looking at you right now, Hey man, play your game, because in that stand gonna be scouts. That's right, y'all. The Godfather is talking. Better listen up and get ready to show what y'all about. Look here, I'm gonna let you play. Okay, I'm gonna let you play, man. All right? Good new call, I'm angling nobody to beat nobody's ass. I'm gonna let you play basketball, all right? All right. Look here, man. Look for that extra pass. You know, hey, you gotta come down, shoot. I want no any pass, shoot everything. So just play. Don't think about me, because if you look at me and you miss a shot, I'm going to send you home anyway. And you got all staters. You got, you know Marcus Arnold, late for Just left the uh, Morgan Park. Chris Burris is uh, Leo, all staters from Leo. This was first practice, but believe me, maybe the third or fourth practice, there's going to be a lot of good players here. We're going to wind them down. So it's good basketball, man. You play against the best in the world. So I love this here. It's here. And I said that's why it's different because it's, like I said, organized playground basketball. You'll see why in a minute because we just let them play ball. We just let them play ball.
Now that's showing what y'all about. Push it, Mike. Push it, Mike. Looks like these guys are having some old-fashioned fun out there. That's what AA Hoops is all about. Just play like you on the playground and have fun. This is the, uh, what do they call it, appetizer? Tell us the big meal get here tomorrow. That's three threes in a row. There's no stopping our man, Sean Dot. Yeah, he was in the zone, what they call that. Is that what they call it, zone? Yeah, AAU is, is probably less disciplined. Um, I'm not going to say that it's not. It's a little bit less disciplined in that you don't see as many set plays run or you don't see as many offenses call out from the coaches. Um, and it's a more up-tempo game for the most part. Less discipline is right. Since the guys already learned all they know from their high school coaches, these guys get the opportunity to just let go. I, I sum it up as being one of the best M basketball leagues you can find, you know, outside your school. I don't take nothing away from your school because the, the school coaching is, is, is the coaches in, in the school system, public, Catholic, it don't matter, private, they're doing a hell of a job because we got to be with them in the learning process. If you think about it, a lot of these kids had to learn from somebody. So now AAU coach is taking them and refining what a coach has already done with. Like Sean Dockery, I mean, he didn't come out as, out, out as a, a baby didn't have this game. Somebody had to spend the time with him. So I, I credit Lauren Jackson, you know. He, he, if, it, if it went one thing that Lauren told him, it was a good thing that he could bring to his game, you know. So no, it, it takes nothing away from their school coaches. They do a good job. That's where it all begins, at school. I think, I think that the, the traveling teams or slash AAU teams are good um, in terms of exposing kids. I think one of the things that uh, I try to emphasize here is that you're getting exposure or playing against quote unquote the best, but your skill level and your talents are developed at your high school. We try to push us to play AAU so we can get recognized recognized more across America so a lot of scouts can see us play out there because you get a lot of recognition when you play for AAU basketball. AAU ball, you can just have fun, right? I mean, it's like, it's no pressure really. AAU ball is not no pressure. You just have it out, you just have it fun. You get, get back to having fun in basketball. That's all AAU ball is really. I think that's why I love it so much. That's the best thing ever, man. Just come out here and just hoop, man. Play with the greatest players across Illinois, and we just combine together and we play the best team in America, the best players in America. So, I'm gonna let you put on the floor. I'm gonna see what you can do. I want you to get better at those things that you need to work on. And once you do that, I take them back to their coach and say thank you, coach, and hope the kid is much better than he was before he left. In fact, he will be. Chicago on three. One, two, three. Chicago. Coming up, find out what surprise Grandpapa McKinney has waiting for Sean and get to know some of the new Julian players as they prepare to get their church on. growing up. You know what I'm saying? He said, Mix with a After practice, Grandpa McKinney invited the whole family over for some traditional soul food and to reveal the surprise he has waiting for Sean. Uh, we have uh, roast and chicken and some collard greens, ham hocks, cornbread, all uh, soul food. <laughs> it's good. Let eat better. Grandpapa McKinney finally has the surprise all set up and is ready to be revealed. One of Sean's favorite poses, and this is what he requested to have done. So, just say I was commissioned to a degree to do this for him. This is what he wanted. And to, uh, this is to the greatest grandson that anybody could have. Uh, <laughs> so here we are. That's for sure. 
It looks like Sean's not the only one with talent in the family. And we'll do many more. Who was that, Pee Wee, right? Okay. One of Sean's oh, greatest fans, yeah? Biggest fans. Number one fan. Miniature Sean. It says the Julian. <laughs> the oh, Jaguar. Jaguar. You do it, man. AAU ball and hanging out with the family ain't all Sean is doing this spring. Him and the new Julian team are participating in the 14th annual Centurion Classic, the same springtime tournament them old Julian boys walked away the champs of last year. Uh, the main uh, thrust of the whole tournament is that we have uh, special speakers come in every year. We try to meet the kids' spiritual needs. We try to give them an opportunity to uh, establish a relationship with Jesus Christ if they'd like to. Hoops and church. Now that's old school, real old school. It's, it's not for hoops, it's for an opportunity to really set forth the truth concerning Christ. And, and, and again, it's not a force feeding, it's not a have to, it's simply a presentation that they can seek to find out if it's true or not, they can receive it or reject it, and they don't make anybody uh, do anything. It's not a force thing, it's, it's, a, it's again a free will choice of their very own. Not about hoops, let's compromise. How about who gods? Sean Dock is gonna be one of them someday. The basic format for the tournament, we have games at four, five, six, eight, and nine. And at from seven to eight, we have a, a, a service up in our auditorium called a timeout session. And we, we clear the gym, we uh, stop all the basketball stuff and, uh, and let the kids really focus on the word of God. We also, uh, for fun, we have trivia questions, we have halftime contests, uh, all types of giveaways and everything. So really, we try to make it fun for um, the basketball fan and the non-basketball fan. I love the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I probably grew up, be a crooked preacher, you know what I'm saying? But Bottom line, you need the Lord. <laughs> hey, look, here, here go out, here go out, rise, see? So we used to church. That's, 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 my church. that's how we got here. That's my Victory. church. Victory. Our yes, church. Bishop you know, Bishop Troy, that's our father. But check it out though, this is the beginning, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even beginning yet. The beginning is in December. This is this just a warm up. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to this season because, man, it's like, it's an honor to play with Doc. You know what I'm saying? Number one player in the nation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you know we got these saying? Africans coming from. They then we got these back. Africans coming yeah, from yeah, overseas. Yeah, when I get in some shape, I'm going to be tight. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> Coach Jackson is the man. Right. Mama Do right here is going to be the future. It's the future. It's the future right here. These are all fours. And I'm say, the only five. Say some words of kindness. That ain't cool, do. man. Come on, mama, just say something. Say, come on, come on. Say it in French. Say it in French. Say it in French. Talk in French. Talk in French. Talk in French. Like, like what? Say anything. Just talk. Dans cette nouvelle équipe, je me sens bien. Il y a des nouveaux gars. Il faut que je m'adapte. It's French. Hey, what is mama do? Mama do. Hey, fellas. Time to stop talking about balling. Churches are calling. Looks like our man Sean is running a little late. Evangelist Mike Mann is the speaker of the night, but speaking ain't all he does. Hey! Better watch out. What I want you to do now, I promise you, tonight, tonight will be the last torment song that I'm going to make you participate in, okay? But this is coordination, folks. Get your hands out like this. Everybody, come on, humor me. Humor me. Get them out there. team now and you're a part of the work that's taking place here we, we appreciate that from you adults too and we're thankful not only you're here in body but you'll be here in a spiritual realm to help this now that the Julian boy scores some points with that big old man up in the sky it's time to get the hoop and again we'll go play some hoops coming up catch the new Julian team as they take on Proviso East where Sean will be competing against another top point guard D Brown Brown. Yeah. Brown. 
So Julian's regular season has ended, but the work goes on. A new Julian team is in the making, and it's Sean's turn to step up to the plate. Me and Anton was the captain, but he was more like a, a leader. Leader, man, and, and that's what I am right now, the team. I gotta do everything good. Like, Tease was doing everything good. He was probably all the time up. He's just showing, he, like a spokesperson, spokesperson or something. Yeah, that's what I am right now. He has to take on the leadership role. The torch has been passed to him in terms of being the leader of the program. I'm just learning right now. Learning how each player play. And how their attitude is. And how they, how, they, how they feel about winning all the time. But they want to win, really. So I'm just learning from him. Julian is the odds on favorite to uh, maybe meet Crane again in the championship game this year. Did he say Crane? Oh, no, not again. They broke Julian's heart, knocking him out of the playoffs in triple overtime. That was one tough loss. It's a tournament that uh, features underclassmen uh, for next season, a postseason tournament where uh, coaches get kind of a sneak preview of what their squad's going to be like next year. That's good for Coach Jake getting a chance to check out his new team and all. But checking out is all he's going to get to do. Can't coach today. Because of IHSA rules, uh, actually until June 1st, uh, the coaches are not allowed to uh, coach. So this gives the uh, kids an opportunity for some uh, student leadership on the bench. Wonder how Coach Jackson feels about letting his boys fly solo. This new team will be the first time that they'll all be competing together. Um, but I think that uh, It'll be a good, good opportunity. Julian took on Lake Park in the first game and blew them out. Next for Julian is Proviso East, where Sean's new leadership role will be put to test against another top point guard, D. Brown. D. Brown took Proviso to the quick lead. No fooling around with these guys. 12 to two. Julian's finally on the board. Looks like only one team is playing out there. Six points for Julian with 8.45 left in the half. What's going on, fellas? That's a little improvement, fellas. Better keep it up if y'all want to repeat. Dogs ain't never near better than us. Out there talking smack, man. We don't let nobody talk smack to us. Showboat and everything. Let's get back. Hustle, man. That's we ain't losing this game. Play your game. Right. Play the game. Play your you have you fun, man. There's our man Sean in action. Yeah. Taking on the leadership role like it ain't no new thing. Now that's the Julian team we familiar with. Seven minutes left, only down by 10. Plenty of time. Keep up the concentration, fellas. The game's not over yet. So no repeat for the Julian Jags. It, 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 it wasn't no, it's a real game, but it's just getting us better right now. I mean, they ain't got nothing to worry about right now. I mean, they ain't got to put their head down. I mean, it's just this is something we got to work on. Let's just get you better. Of course, I'll be happy if we won, but we can't win all the time. So we just learn from our mistakes and we'll get better. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get better. Jackson's going to have a straight bad time season start. 
This is like, we out of shape a little bit. <laughs> we ain't played a long time. But we will be all right. I'm not worried at all, not a bit. It's okay, Sean. This tournament ain't about winning, but rather about getting to know one another and coming together as a team. Coming up on Preps. Kyle collecting the basketball career in Downers Grove ended in a shocking loss. We always grew up playing basketball. It's like our first sport that really brought us together, and now that's over, it's kind of sad, but got to move on. It's really confusing. We have nothing to do now. <laughs> now Kyle and his teammates are picking up the pieces and moving on to baseball. Kyle Kleckner, the three-sport star, is heading into his final high school season on the next Preps. Troy Garner, and uh, what year of sophomore? Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> My name is Jermaine Hall, no? Not from the enormous Sticks. 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 Oh okay, um, my name is Leon Showtime Glenn, baby. Yeah, <laughs> 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 my dude. My dude. Yes. 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 Where are yeah. What's our coach name, Mama Dude? Mm -hmm. What's our coach name? For Jackson. <laughs> <laughs>